Hi everyone. Uh, today we'll see uh, some frequently asked Unix commands, and also uh, this we frequently use in projects. So this will be very useful. So whenever we go working on some Unix operating system. So as everyone knows that. So if you are working with uh, Informatica, so we always deal with some flat files. So whenever you deal with flat files, absolutely. So it comes from Unix system. OK, so, so if you want to check that particular file, or if you want to see the result, you have to go to the Unix environment, and uh, you have to check that one. OK, so if you understand this uh, basic commands, uh, that will be helpful to uh, work on this Unix systems. OK, so first we'll see a uh, few commands what we frequently use. So first one is interview. So this is everybody knows that. So whenever you go to interview, so if you want some question on Unix, can you tell me what is PMCMT? Or else they can ask that. Can you tell me how to run the workflow in Unix? Or else they can ask other questions like, I don't want to run the workflow using Informatica. So can you tell me any other way we have? So there are many ways to use this uh, PMCMD. So this PMCMD, which is used to run the workflow through Unix. Suppose, let's see, uh, you are in some production environment. OK, you don't have an access to run the uh, workflow uh, through ETL. Let's see, but you have a permissions on Unix level. So you can run through PMCMD that particular workflow. So the PMCMD is used to just run the workflow. So you can see here the part I have mentioned that PMCMD you have to mention, start workflow, okay? And this is the service name, I mean integration service name and domain name and username and password, folder name and workflow name. So if you give like this, so first you have to go to this path Okay, so okay, so this particular path, then I just use this command to run this particular workflow. So if you want to run a particular workflow through Unix, yes, you can use this PMCMD. Some basic commands we'll see. So cat, which is used to create a non-zero byte file. Okay, so this is the command. If you want to create some file in Unix, yes, you can use this. Okay. So it's remember, it's non zero byte file. So cat file one, file two, this greater than symbol R. Suppose I want to combine the data of these two files and I want to create a other file, then you can use this command. So just it will combine this file, file one, file two data, and it will create a new file which, which is does not exist. Okay, so cat file one, if you see this type of double greater than symbol, so it will just append this file one data to file two. That's it. So, so just remember, so like a double greater than symbol. This just which is used to append the data. Okay. So touch file. So this touch command usually. So he, here you can see that we create a non-zero byte file, but touch is a command which is used to create a zero byte file. Okay, that you have to remember. So they can ask a question into you. Can you tell me how to create a zero byte file? That time. You can say that by using a touch command, you can create a zero byte file. So how to create a non-zero byte file? By using the cat command. So PS minus CA. So to just want to find out what are the probes are running. Okay. So you can just issue this command. So it will just show you what are the probes are running. So cron tab. So another question here is very important. So this is one important question. And these are the command what we frequently use. In this, you can highlight this is the more, one more important because touch they are asked to create an non-zero byte. So they can ask this question also. Okay. So what is mean by cron tab? Okay, what is mean by cron tab? Or else can you tell me how you are scheduling the jobs? Okay, so they can ask a question like this. So as everyone knows that. We have an option in Informatica level to schedule the jobs, but many companies are not using that one. So always we depend on some third party schedulers. 
Okay, so this is one, one, of, one of the third party scheduler, cron tab. So through Unix, you can schedule the jobs. Okay, so this cron tab is a command which is used to schedule the jobs. Suppose I want to run some so on so workflow on particular time by using this cron tab, we can schedule the jobs. But remember, if you want to use this cron tab, you should have an admin privileges, else you cannot run the cron tab. So, okay, so if anyone asks into you, what is my cron tab? So you can say that this cron tab is a command which is used to schedule the jobs. So this is the command. This is the command who, by plain symbol, wc, this uh, hyphen uh, l symbol, which is used to. So who are all the, I mean, so total number of users, suppose, so you are logging to some Unix server. So I, you want to see who are all the users logging the same time. Just want to see that you can use this command. Okay, so this command which is used to just display the directories. As everyone knows that Unix, you have a directories. Under the directories only, we store all the data, right? It's like in the form of files or whatever it is. So usually we have a folders. Similar way, in Unix, we have a directories. If you want to display the directories, you can use this command. So copy file. So just if you want to copy the file one to file two, yes, you can use this copy command, move command, which is used to move the data or rename the file also, we use this. So it's RM, as everyone knows that, just want to remove or delete a file. So to just want to display the hidden files, you can use this ls minus a, okay? So this more command, which is used, to, normally we use to just view the content, that's it. So head command again, so head file name. So what are the uh, lines you want to display? Suppose I want to see only first few lines. Suppose I want to see first 10 lines. Suppose let's say I have a very big file. So you have loaded to the, sorry, you just extract the data from some uh, database and you load it to Unix system. Just I want to make sure few records, whether it's perfectly loading or not. So instead of seeing all million records, you can use this header minus suppose 10. So you can see the first 10 records. Okay, 10 records looks good. Okay, uh, at least it's perfectly loaded. Just you can uh, confirm that whether the file as expected loaded or not. So this head and tail, like uh, similar to the head and, uh, sorry, the first and last functions in Informatica. So head, Minus file, you just I have given an example. So first five lines. Suppose you want to see 10 lines, yes, you can do 10 lines. So first 10 lines it will display. So if you use tail, last 10, 10 lines it will display. So these are the few commands what we frequently use uh, uh, in Unix level. So this will be very helpful whenever we're working uh, by some using uh, this Unix, uh, Unix operating system. So, so absolutely, if you go to interview, <clears throat> so at least they ask few questions on, I mean, uh, Unix, even though they are not used in it, at least they ask few of the uh, questions in uh, Unix 11. So at least they will ask some basic commands. So if you are aware of this, at least you can say a few of the commands, you can say, okay, this is not I know, but I have not got an opportunity as of now. So if I get an opportunity, so I can, I can work on it. Like that also you can say. So sometimes I have seen that many people are suppose in their project they do, they don't have a requirement of Unix, but they want to take interview on Unix also. So they simply ask that can you just tell me that few of the few Unix commands what you frequently work. So you cannot say that right. Suppose you have four to five years of experience, you can't say that I don't have a Unix knowledge, right? Because you in four years you may work on multiple projects. So. I can say that few people may work only one project. Okay. So at least if you see that other people, two, three projects, they may, they might work. So in that projects, they might use this Unix concepts. So instead of, even though they are not worked on that, so instead of saying no answer, you can say that I have a basic knowledge. So, but I have not get an opportunity to work on that, but I have a basic knowledge, so if I get a chance, sure, I can work on it. So you can say like that, instead of directly, so say directly, no, I don't work on this uh, Unix, I don't have an idea. So you can say that, so if they ask, right, you can explain a few of the commands, what I explained now. So just take uh, at least 10 commands in this, we explain these are the commands I frequently use, I remember only these things, so that will be, uh, create a good impression. 
So in this, you have to remember this PMCMD. Okay. So this is very important. If suppose that someone ask uh, yeah, an interview, so you have to explain this. This is the syntax you have to remember. It's very simple. So only you have to remember PMCMD start workflow, integration service name, domain name, and username and password and folder, what folder it is in Informatica and what workflow you want. If you give this syntax, that will be fine. Okay, so along with that touch command also, they frequently ask, front tab. So and also you have to remember this copy command, move, remove this, um, uh, display the hidden files. So this is all important thing. So this is also important, head and tail, because if you have a huge file, Suppose, let's see, I have a one-to-one -one mapping source having 10 millions of records. I have loaded to, loaded to a file which, stole, which is available in the Unix system. So I am extracting the data from Oracle and loading it to the file. So you, I want to make sure whether the data is perfectly loaded or not. So instead of searching all the data or seeing all the data, so you may fire this head command see that first 10 records whether the order is perfectly coming so all the columns are loaded properly so if it is loaded properly absolutely other records are also loaded correctly so just like check that i'm not saying about the testing part here just i am saying that make sure the data is perfectly as per the source is loading or not so you can check few records so based on that you will come to the records are loaded so at least you can remember this tail and head and display this one and also this is sometimes they ask display the directories yes this also sometimes they ask so if they i mean just prepare this uh, uh commands so i think this will be uh, very helpful someone uh, take an example yes i am i am not saying that oh, they'll ask only this so i'm giving few so i'll i have a other set of uh, comments that we'll see in the next session so almost I can say that suppose let's say they ask 10 questions, maybe one or two questions, you may see in this. So we'll, we'll, we'll have other session. So in that I, uh, I, I'm I going to take a few more uh, comments, but I'll explain the next session. Okay, so thanks everyone. So we'll see in the next session. Yeah, thank you.